Hi, I'm Bradley Beer, CEO of BMT Tax Depreciation. 2020 has truly been a year like no other. Australia hit its first recession in 30 years. The economy was shaken and the property market seemed to slow down, but showed small glimmers of strength in regional markets. It would be wrong to say Australia is now at the other side of the COVID-19 pandemic. We do face a long road ahead, but the property market has proven to be more resilient than originally thought. Pre-COVID-19 saw the property market rebound from a mixed 2019. In February 2020, right before the pandemic hit Australia, housing values surged 1.1% over the month, while values across five of the eight capitals reached record heights. As social distancing and strict regulations came into effect, the property market slumped. July was the lowest point in home values, the third consecutive monthly decline, dropping by 0.6% over the month. Since then, the decline of home values has been easy and consumer confidence has slowly returned. October 2020 saw the housing market exit its consecutive declines and move back into the positive with a 0.4% rise, while the national home values rose by 1.1% for the quarter to November 2020. The Reserve Bank of Australia cut interest rates to a record new low of 0.1% in November. This came from an emergency rate cut to 0.25% in March. Rising confidence, government-led incentives such as Home Builder and the lower interest rates led property transactions to increase later in the year and the market entry to rise. As noted in the Real Estate Institute of Australia's Housing Affordability Report, the September quarter alone resulted in the largest market entry year-on-year -year increase since 2009, predominantly led by first home buyers. A boost also came to businesses with the job market plan. From a property and asset perspective, the instant asset write-off turned full expensing policy was one of the biggest business incentives in Australian history. The policy is in place until the end of 2022 financial year and allows businesses with an aggregated turnover of up to $5 billion to instantly deduct any eligible asset that they purchase. This includes businesses who acquire buildings and facilities, for example, farmers and commercial property owner occupiers. Despite the policy driven positives, as we enter 2021, there are still a lot of unknowns. Unemployment remains high. Wage growth is low. Banks are being very careful with security calculations, but the property market looks to continue its resilience into 2021. On the other hand, low interest rates look like they are here to stay and bank loan deferrals have been falling. At BMT, we hit the 700,000 schedule completion mark in May 2020. We faced many COVID related challenges throughout the year as we continued safe operations and followed government regulations. The split between tax depreciation schedules completed for new and secondhand properties continued from the 2019 trend with 54% of schedules completed for new and 46% completed for secondhand properties. Statistics released by the Australian Taxation Office continue to prove that the deductions we find our investor clients are significantly higher than the average claims. Our average first full year claim came to over $8,500, while the average claim reported by the Australian Tax Office was under $4,000 for the same period. BMT continued to maximise depreciation deductions during this turbulent year. The health and safety of our clients and staff is our top priority, and we continue to conduct physical site inspections with precautions in place when safe to do so across Australia. Conducting site inspections ensures the BMT schedule has the highest possible claim, taking into account every inch of the property and confirming each addition or substantial renovation. This inspection also guarantees that full Australian Taxation Office compliance is maintained. The team at BMT would like to take this opportunity to thank our clients for allowing us to work with them during this unprecedented year. We look forward to working together in the future and we wish you every success in 2021.